Hello friends, there hasn't surprisingly enough been any juicy drama going on in Avonlea lately that I could cash in on, so Diana suggested that I would share some of my story ideas. Some of them are a bit more fleshed out plot-wise, some are mostly just raw ideas and concepts that I like to mull around in my head when I'm bored. In order to make this video visually a bit more interesting, each story will be illustrated by the ever-lovely Diana Barry. She told me to tell you that she's not an artist, nor does she aspire to be, but we all know her, her articles are great. She also said that, no offense, but compared to my skills, everyone is an artist, but I have no idea what she could mean by that. So my first story is, it doesn't really have a name, but there is this girl who lives in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere. She wears a big yellow raincoat everywhere she goes and wakes up really early to sit by the lake near her house as the sun rises, hoping to catch some trout with her trusty fishing rod. So she's out there fishing this one morning when a pebble glides over the surface of the lake and sinks just a short distance away from her, like someone had skipped a stone from the other side of the lake. She tries to peer to the opposite shore but can't see anyone since it's still quite foggy and dark. The sun rises and there's no one to be seen. She doesn't think much of it until it keeps happening every single morning a week or so. She gets curious and starts to gradually change her position to see if the stone skipper will throw the rock towards her, which it does. One day, she says to herself, this is silly, gets up and starts to make her way to the opposite shore from her usual fishing spot. The lake is small, but it still takes her a while to walk there, and as she approaches the spot, her heart is filled with anxiety and anticipation. The first rays of the rising sun hit the surface of the lake as she reaches her destination, but there's no one there. The girl feels annoyed and oddly disappointed. Now later on it turns out that one of these trees by the lake is actually a person who can only have a human form when it's dark. The tree person never sees anyone else since the girl is the only human who comes around the lake before sunrise so throwing pebbles has been their only way of getting her attention as a tree can never stray too far from its roots. They fall in love of course. I haven't yet decided whether she'll find a way to break curse before the tr tree gets cut down by a local furniture building company or not. Okay, the second one. I have no idea what the plot would be. But I want to write a story about a girl who always has a bell on her, either as a pendant or an earring or a keychain or something, so, so the people always hear a slight jingle whenever she's around and everyone gets her stuff with bells on it for birthdays and Christmas, since they're just kind of her thing. Eventually it turns out that her now deceased mother was blind and since she's light on her feet, she used to have a habit of wearing bells so that her mother could hear where she was. Even now she still feels like wearing bells helps her mother to look after her from heaven. Thank you for joining us today and if you have any cool story ideas that you never seem to get around actually writing, do feel free to share them in the comments. See you next week!